was the last place that Justin Sawyer was known to be alive on the night of December 17th. Now presumed dead, his family has taken matters into their own hands. His wife that lost her husband is called widow. The husband that has lost a wife is called a widower. A child that has lost a parent is called an orphan. But there's no word for a parent that has lost a child because the grief is so awful. Over 80 family members and friends showed up on the morning of December 6 to find Justin's body and bring him to his final resting place. The search led the group into vast cornfields, through the woods, and into culverts. And then um, some ID was found under brush. So those, I know you guys are looking. Lois Anderson with Bloodhound Search and Rescue led the search. I got a passion for it because I really feel for the people. Probably. Uh, a little bit more emotional than most but anyways and I got an email that asked that this family wanted to search um, would I help them and I said of of course other people would say like he was like kind of shy or something but once you got to know him he was such a fun outgoing person super duper sweet has such a good heart ebony a former girlfriend and friend of justin's says she spoke to him the day he was allegedly murdered i was in shock i had just spoken to him not too long ago on facetime talking for hours i was i was in shock justin's mother tracy jackson said that to know him was to love him he was such a good kid he was the type of child that he would give the shirt off of his back. He would have gave them whatever it was that they wanted. Justin's aunt was told that his body was wrapped in blankets somewhere. And during the search, they found a blanket, but no body. The blanket, however, was turned over to Kentucky State Police. Anyone with information should contact Clarksville Police Department's Detective Tanner Pugh or Kentucky State Police's Detective Brandon McPherson. With Clarksville Now, I'm Angela Peterson.